what is up guys good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you're seeing this video guys and as you can tell of course we're back with another episode of a more love go guys if you don't remember these last two episodes have been a world win between Tobias still and this is master plan to everybody coming in to him trying to hurt um Ricardo and just end it all to her girl Miss Alexis getting shot to just everything after everything to Tobias trapping him Nick and Asher in a cage and we didn't know what happened until the last episode where we found out that Nick and Julio both died from the explosion that happened on the prison. However, baby Asher survived and was put into a coma. Julio um, shielded him and kept him safe from the explosion as best as he could. Which now, um, which now we're seeing that he is awake. The past episode, we're just dealing with the aftermath of everybody dealing with the past of Julia and Nick and Ellie losing her man and her dad, T, T losing her man, you know, the girl, Miss Alexis losing her potential father in law and her brother, who, um, Ricardo, you know, realizing that Julia does care and his father, um, Rodrigo losing his father, you know, um, both of their parents, Alexis and Nick's parents, who's a Nick, just one bang after another. Still not sure what happened to Tobias, because nobody's said anything, so did Tobias die? Did he survive? I'm really curious to see what's going on. Because, you know, Adrian hasn't really been worried about him, he's been worried about Asher, you know, now that he's going to wake up and all that stuff. But, anyway guys, I'm not going to ramble too much, because it is really like that. To get this video up in time so that it doesn't come out the next day like I did last week. So it should be out on Monday as of the day of. But we are now up to the point where Asher has woken up and our girl Alexis and Ricardo. No, Rodrigo, I'm sorry. No, Michaela, I'm sorry. Wrong couple. Michaela and Rodrigo called um Adrian. And yeah, however, Asher don't want to see him because if you remember um, in the previous two episodes, Adrian said some things in front of Julio, in front of his dad. They were just real disrespectful. And Rodrigo and R Ricardo was the only two who knows that he was just putting on the act so they could get the antidote from Ricardo and they could um, get out of there safely. But anyway, let us just jump into this episode and see what the tea is with the episode. I was trying to get, do my little thing, but it didn't come out the way I did. But anyway, let's just jump in. Can't you fucking hear, Adrian? Adrian, let's talk outside. Asher, what's wrong with you? Why do you want me gone? Adrian, he just woke up. Let's give him some time. Asher, talk to me, please. If it's because of what happened that night, I swear I can't explain... I don't care about your explanation. Not only did you expose me in front of all my friends for being gay, you're the reason Julio and Nick are fucking dead. Asher, if you would have said that a few weeks ago, I would have 100% agree with your statement. And as much as it's hard for me to disagree, I have to. Adrian played Tobias Asher. It's not what it looks like, but I have no right to tell you to forgive him about the other topic. But both of you will talk about it when you're healed. Adrian, let's talk outside. But right now... <laughs> I love how Rodrigo has thrown this very protective, um, almost older brotherly instinct around Asher, you know, because he did, he was originally the first one to see them together, however he didn't expose him, however he didn't try to get Asher to, you know, say whatever he is, he's like, you know, if you're involved, then okay, because... You know, you might see something in him. My brother sees something in him. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And, you know, I'm going to trust your instinct on this and let you do what you got to do. You know, I love that he's kind of taking on that older brotherly relationship with him. Well, you knock it off. Jesus, I had the worst fucking week of my life. Give me a fucking break. 
Dexter hates me, Rodrigo. He fucking hates me. I can't lose him, Ryan. I love him. I swear to God, I never meant to. I know, Adrian. I know. But, Adrian, you weren't in that cage. You couldn't. He couldn't hear your voice. We both have no way of understanding what was going on until my dad, Nick, and Ash's head. He didn't see you after what you said to him. So he's furious. And to be honest, Adrian, we can't blame him. I'm sure deep, deep down, he knows you were faking it, but the damage is too strong right now. He needs time. But I don't want to give him time. I want to hug him and tell him how much he means to me. To tell him I didn't mean any other words I said next to my dad, and I want him to listen to me. And if you force him, you will only push him away even more, Adrian. Trust me, I know it's hard for you, but you have to give him some time. For the time being, you can stay with us. You know, since you ran away from Tobias and his gang, and Asher took you in, I'm sure being in your apartment will feel very lonely right now. You can stay with us. Now he's staying in the in the Ramirez home. We love that. Sorry, I'm just I'm scared he'll never forgive me. But you're right. Forcing him to listen will only push him further away. I'll tell you what. Go to his house now. Get your things. Doctor said Ashley needs to spend the night to see if everything's okay. I will give you time and get everything you need to settle in my house. I'll tell Rick to pick you up when you're done. Thanks, Rod. Don't mention a lot. I also do love how they embraced Adrian because, you know, it's like you don't have anywhere to go. Antonio Ramirez? Who's that? It's like you don't have anywhere else to go at the moment honestly so we need to kind of put you under our wing not put you under our wing but you know we know that what you did was for us and to make things right and better so you know we're gonna trust that you're not with your dad and he has proven that so I like the fact that Adrian has kind of found the home with them dad's office I think this is the first time you're in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I don't know why I even came in here. Hey, he was your dad. It's understandable if you're curious about, you know, his gang stuff. As if I'll be interested in being a part of his gang, Santiago. His lifestyle is not for me. If someone needs to take his place, it would be Rodrigo. He was with dad his entire life. He knows him better than anyone. Loved him better than anyone. Secondly, Rod is a hothead just like my dad. He should definitely take his place. I don't know about that anymore, Rick. Rod it's kind of changed, don't you think? He's not the same Rod we met a couple years ago. He's way calmer, less guarded as he was before. Yeah, you're right. In those two years, he did change a lot. Remember when he hated my guts? Now he can't breathe without you. I'm not gonna lie. The feeling's kind of mutual. The asshole knows how to piss me the hell off, but at the end of the day, he's my twin. And honestly, I couldn't ask for a better friend than him. Awkward. <laughs> Except you, you of course. That's what I thought. <laughs> he's like, first of all, bitch, I've been with you in the beginning. <laughs> By the way, seeing you saying that you made me realize something. I don't know if I should say it though. Mm. Say it, say it, say it. Screw it, I'll say it anyways. Sure, you're not a part of the gang world like your father was and like Rodrigo, but you are more street smarts than anyone I know. Bottom line is, gang related or not, you'll be a great leader one day. I can see that in your eyes. You were always a leader, Rick, not a follower. Who knows what the future will bring with you, Rick? Why does that sound weird? Brink will bring you, Rick. Why does that sound weird coming out of my mouth? <laughs> I should become president. Ooh, wait a minute, back up. Let's start somewhere. <laughs> start somewhere small first. You, 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 you going a little too far here. Oh yeah. Also, guys, if you guys don't, hey love, I missed you. How was your nap? It was okay. Ren woke me up. Really, I fed her an hour ago. She was supposed to fall asleep. She's a little tension seeker, huh? Mm -hmm, that's my girl. She got it from you, though. Uh, okay. Ouch. I am not an attention seeker. Answer me. I rest my case. Whatever you say. Hey, can I hold her? Of course, silly. 
if you also guys also guys if you guys don't remember in the last episode they went to the doctor and flash warning flashlight warning sorry guys i need to get faster reading those but if you guys don't remember in the last episode they went to the doctor to make sure that all her test results were good and everything was good but however with a bullet hit affected her uterus um, a lot for the most part affected her uterus deeply so in other words it would be almost impossible for Alexis and Ricardo to have another child because they did talk about having another baby and not good However, the doctor says that's not that much of a possibility for them anymore. Even though they both said they would be okay with that because they do have Raina. But anyway, just, just a little recap. Watching my little daughter looking straight into Ricardo's eyes was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The way I see her bright green light eyes are locked within each other. The way I see the love in Ricardo's eyes for her makes me forget about the chaos around, me, around us. Moments like this are the reason why I'm not giving up even when I feel like everything is about to fall apart. And as much as I need to admit, for me to admit, for the first time this week, I finally feel happy. That's how much power this little girl has. That's how much power these two have on me. Marina knows how many of my days to play better without even trying. All she needs to do is look into her father's eyes and smile on her own life and not even have a dream. Even though I know for a very short amount of time, I'm trying my hands to hold on to this moment. Because if there's something I've learned, it's that you need to cherish every single memory with the people you love. Cherish the moments with your family, moments that might forever be labeled only as a memory. And looking at both of the most important people in my life made me realize, while watching Ricardo and our daughter bonding together while she can listen to the beautiful rhythm of his heartbeat and her small head pressed on his chest, seeing my beautiful family together right now is all I need. God knows I'm going to do everything in my power to keep my family safe. He came back to me without even trying. Fate and faith made us meet each other back in New York and it brought us even closer again here in Spain. Me and Ricardo, we have a bond that people are fighting for. And now we have Reina, our girl, our biggest bond. Ricardo and Rain are my breath of fresh air, the little missing piece of the puzzle, and that thing that not so long ago I didn't know I needed. But now I know I can't live without. That's a very cute art. I do love them. Hey, I like the art pieces. I've never seen that before, but I really do love them. Yeah, the art pieces into the, the story. Thank you, Rick, and Rick, for making my day better. Even when the darkest days are more light. Light. Alright, I'll talk to you about when I'm trying to read this. Hold her for me, Lex. I'll see who's calling. Adrian, how are you? I heard Asher is awake. But me and the gang can't come since you and Rod are already there. Keep yourself safe and healthy, everyone. You know, Corona. Coronavirus! I'm sorry, I just had to. It was just calling me. Sure, I'm coming to get you. Tell me what happened when I get there. Is everything all right? I really hope so. But Adrian will be staying with us for a little. Is that cool with you? Rick, I've never had a problem with Adrian. Only with his dumbass sister. And honestly, it looks like he was the one who kept you sane back then. Go and get him, Rick. I'll be here waiting. I love you. See you soon. That's it. Because at this point, we need to make sure that bitch is dead. That sounds awful, but it's the truth. Make sure that bitch is gone. I want to leave. It's too, it's too dang bad, buddy. You can't. <laughs> at least not yet. We need to make sure you're okay, Asher. You'll be out of here in no time. I want to leave right now. And I want you to eat your food. Michaela? Does it really look like I want to eat hospital food right now? I don't know what she said, but something. Does it really look like I really give a damn? We all want what's best for you. So sit and eat your food. You need to get stronger if you want to get out of here. Did he just run out? 
Meanwhile, Rick, you're here? I'm coming. Bless it. Hey. Hi, buddy. What's happening? What's going on? Ice cream. Oh, my God. Yes, please. Rick's like, I got you, homie. I got you. Let's go for some ice cream. Tell me how it is. Pickle bingo, horse flesh, blue cheese ice cream coming right up. Yay. That sounds terrible. I can't even lie to you. Feeling better now. Like, 1% yes. Adrian, you'll be fine. He fucking hates me, Ricardo. And I can't believe him. I fucked up so bad. You should have seen his face. I've never seen Astro like this before. I don't know why, Adrian. Your acting skills were on point back there. Wow, thanks. But he will come around, Adrian. He just needs time. Everyone's telling me to give him time. But what if time only drifts us apart? Adrian, if you and Asher are meant to be, it will be. Ricardo, shut up! Don't cheer me up with some stupid cliche quotes. But it's true. Take me and Alexis, for example. I flew all the way to New York just so I could earn some money. Never in my life did I think I'd meet the love of my life there, that's for sure. And the future mother of my baby girl. Yet things happen, as you know, and we were all away from each other for more than a year. Not by choice, but then again, somehow, they brought us closer. Of all the girls in this world, Faith decided to bring this random New Yorker to Madrid. I mean, who would have thought it's possible? The odds are of one in a million. And let's act like Asher isn't any different. Asher's from the U.S. and as well, he serves in the U.S. Army. Who would have thought his life would take such a turn and he would decide to move out to Madrid and do only my dad's gang? And let's not forget, Asher was never interested in men until he met you. Or maybe he denied it, but you were the one who made all these fears not matter. It was all you, Adrian. So don't lose your hope. At least not yet. I guess you got a point. Alright, alright. I'll give him some time to cool down. But not because I want to. That's the first step. Trust me, it'll be easier to talk to him again after he's calmed down. I really hope so. Thank you, Ramirez. There's no reason to thank me. Come on, let's go home. But I didn't finish my waffle yet. Too bad, buddy. I don't want to walk around with you in a ram suitcase. It scares people and gives the wrong impression. What do you mean? It's just a damn suitcase. <laughs> Point taken. Sure, lead the way. I like how they immediately had their mask on until their mask wasn't on until they saw them. Love that. My back is itching. I know that was random, but I just had to say that. Rodrigo. Red. How was your lunch with Asher? Where is he? Well, you see, this is why he came. There's a really, really slight problem, so, so slight you won't even notice. Okay, what happened? So you see, Asher left. As in left the cafeteria? As in left the hospital? But it looks like he feels better. Jesus, right? You had one job. The guy just woke up after a week and you let him escape? Not gonna lie. Asher has very fast looks. Whatever. Let's just find him. He probably left because of Adrian. What do you mean? I don't know. I just hope I'm wrong. Let's go and find him. Maybe God is giving me a sign I should not tell him after all. By the way, after we'll find out, tell me that thing you wanted. Uh, sure. Damn it. <laughs> it's like he's reading our mind. We're not telling you. You hate me now, don't you? What a silly, silly girl here, all right? I don't hate you. I just think you're very stupid. Hey, take that back. It's not my fault he ran away. Let's hope he's home, because if not, I have no idea where to look. And it's not like he has his phone with him. It's Asher we're talking about, Rod. He wouldn't just go disappear. Hey, Rod? Yeah. Is that Asher over there? 
Rodrigo! Why the hell are you arresting me? I legit did nothing. Why are you coming to me with that attitude? Slapping on my ego and I'm like mad at you. Shoo! I think I hit my head pretty hard. right behind you. That doesn't explain why you're half naked, sir. Officer, everything is under control. As you can see, our friend just got out of the hospital and suddenly he decided to go on a small walk. Walk my ass. Alright, I'm giving him a warning this time. Have a good day, sir. What the fuck, Asher? Why are you looking at me like that? I want to go home and your girlfriend didn't let me. Asher, I get that you're mad. Trust me, I really do. But let's cool down a bit. You just woke up after a freaking week and I don't know how you're capable of being so energetic. You need to lay down and rest and not run around in the street. Oh, you don't understand that I'm mad? Well, that's good to know. But I'm energetic because I'm fucking angry and I want to go home. All right, let's make one thing clear. I'm the one who lost his dad, not you. You were lucky and thank God you made it. But for the love of God, you're blowing this way out of proportion. Rodrigo, he exposed me in front of everyone. I wasn't ready for this. You can't possibly understand what I'm feeling right now. Your dad died while thinking I'm some kind of traitor for being a Romano. I didn't even get a chance to explain. And that's not the only reason, so please leave it. So people know you're gay now? So what? You didn't commit a crime. Tobias rules are not effective anymore. He's six feet under. Oh, he did die. <gasps> Tobias is dead, y'all. Good. Thank God, because... That's wrong to say. That's wrong to think, y'all. I shouldn't say that. But Tobias is dead, y'all. I was out here wondering. I was like, girl, is Tobias dead? Because <laughs> what happened to him? But anyway, let's be honest here. Who the fuck cared about him anyway? Asher, if you think we'll make you, it will make people think any different of you, then you're wrong. Everyone loves you for who you are, Ash, including my dad. You can be sure of that. Just get inside the car and let's take you home. And when you feel better, you'll see things from a different perspective. Just give it time. I mean, I get what he's saying, like, an hour later. And it's like, Adrian shouldn't have exposed him, but at the same time, like, you can see that nobody looks at you different because everybody was there. But not everybody was there, but only certain people could be in the hospital because of, you know, coronavirus. But, um they were still there for you like when you were waking up like being there for you they're there for you trying to take care of you like they don't care that you're gay like it's still you who has issues coming to terms with your gayness i guess i should say all right so according to this map the treasure should be somewhere nearby treasure 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 here i come ariel and jen is on the way <laughs> is this a movie Jesus, why did it become so dark in here? And why am I going in the wrong direction? Oh. Oh, back problems. Secret treasure? Looks kind of lame if you ask me. Oh well, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, a big treasure. Girl, there's a lot. My life is over. We're gonna go all this way and there's a magic key clock. I have an idea. Let's try this. It's a long shot, but why not? Open oh, sesame. Holy cow, it worked. So I can buy a lifetime supply of cookies. Oh dang. <laughs> dang. What the hell is this?
the treasure is a toothpaste across deserts and seas for this a freaking toothpaste Ew, and not even a good one. Oral B sucks, y'all. What the hell are you watching? <laughs> Ariel, Indiana 2, The Journey of the Lost Toothpaste by Oriel B. I'm sad, all right? I'm not gonna lie, the first one was better. So, that's what you're gonna do to feel better? Watch movies about toothpaste and cry? I sense a little judgment here. Hey, trust me, I'm the last one who would judge you. But you know, if you want something to work, you gotta make it work. But things won't happen only if you'll hope for them to happen. Actions are stronger than words and dreams. So if you want, Asher, go and get them. You know, Rick told me to do the exact opposite of that. Like, I need to respect him and give him time. R right? Honestly, I don't know what to do, Alexis. I just, I want him to listen to me, you know? A lot of people might say that, yes. But honestly, it sounds like the logical thing to do. But did I give Rick time when he didn't know who I was? Did I give him time after I found out he was still alive or when I wanted him back in my arms? Did I give him time to think this through? Despite how confused he was? No. Which, I mean, not to, not to say anything. Probably should have, because the man was already going through a lot. I'm just saying, she probably should have gave him a little time and space. Just a little bit. Anyway, because if I want something to happen, I know I gotta work hard to make it happen. If there's something that I've learned that hard work is that life is in a very tell situation, and things don't just happen just because you pray for them to happen. And you know, it's a very pessimistic, but I think it's best to be realistic and to fight for what you want. And if somehow you won't make it happen, I guess it's the universe's way of telling you and it's supposed to be yours in the first place. But I'm on Adrian, I sure love you. And I don't know you, but I want to believe you love him as well. And if Rick trusts you with his eyes closed, then so do I. And there are the choices in your hands. Obviously, you can give him time if you want. There's no right or wrong in this situation. Both choices are open to you. You're the one who knows Ashley the best, so deep down you know what to do. Okay, you're way different than I imagine. I was talking to a weird chick who has this weird obsession with nuggets and stuff around just for fun. And it's super toxic. I don't know why I was, but hey, I grew up. I still love chicken eggs though. You know what, Alexis? I do know Ashley more than he even knows himself. And I think I know what to do. Good for you, Adrian. I'm gonna go feed Raina now. You, good luck, and have fun watching that weird movie of yours. Yeah, because she, she's just floating in the background, like, what's happening here? Asher, are you sure you don't want us to walk, in, walk you in? I swear to God, you we will leave. We understand you want to be alone. How do we go? I promise. I feel totally fine. I have my med prescriptions, and I know how to take care of myself. And trust me, I've already been in a similar situation while I was a Marine. Uh, I don't like this, but all right. We'll check on you tomorrow, Ash. And I'll stop by tomorrow and give you some homemade food. Not a hospital one. Jesus, was that too much to ask? I'd rather eat dirt for crying's sake. And thank you for looking for me. I'm getting inside. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll go away fast before they stop you. Bye, Asher. See you tomorrow. Ugh, all right, stop worrying about him. Asher Poopy is way stronger than you, both physically and mentally. He's perfectly fine, and thank God for that. Yeah, you're right. I'll check on him tomorrow. Okay, I was meaning to ask. A few hours ago, we were at my dad in Nick's funeral, and since one of my best friends left, I was thinking if if it's okay if that I if that I yes, Rod, you can stay with me at my place. How did you, Rod? I know you like the back of my hand, and there's no way in hell I'd let you go through this by yourself. So let's stop by the supermarket and get a lot of comfort food, and I promise I won't leave your side. Thank you, Amor. <laughs> he loves us. I mean, I mean, thank you, Red. <laughs> you love us. Stop playing. Meanwhile, I was gonna say, who is this? But this is T. This is Tara, because I forgot she got blonde hair. She ain't got the pink hair no more. Anyway, is everything alright? You've been there for more than an hour. 
I'm coming in. There's another guy right here. You want to watch a movie or eat something? I know it's hard for both of us, and I think we should stay together, you know? Being alone doesn't help. Oh, God, darling, please don't think I've avoided you for something. I literally, I just literally feel so bad mentally and physically. I feel like I'm so blocked all the time. I'm going to do sleep. As much as I want to eat it, oh, by the way, never my life day, something like this would happen. And Emmy, your dad, wanted to work things out again, you know? I just can't believe it's actually happening. Karen never did in my life that I think I can lose Nick, the guy I love, or my dad. Yet the universe sometimes plays a sick game with us, and he decides to eliminate some of the players. Losing both of them was never something that crossed my mind. But I know they wouldn't want us to be alone, especially during our dark times. Just like Rod said at his funeral, there's something that dad, my dad taught us is that you need to stick up with your families, no matter what. Tear your family. As much as I'm upset, I can't see you like this. Yeah, she family, because I'm 100% sure she's pregnant. I meant to say this in the last episode when he died, when Julio died, and they were getting back together. Oh my gosh, she's going to be pregnant. And that's going to be her baby, but she's not going to get the raise of food yet. I'm just saying. Let's go to my room and eat some ice cream. And in a couple of days, you still feel better. Let's take you to the doctor. Your physical health and mental health are bad, too. And I don't want you to feel like this. I love you so much, Elle. Thank you for everything. Sweet. It's very nice that everybody's finding someone to comfort them in these times. Can you please pick up something you need to eat? Okay. I want whiskey. I meant food, Rod. I don't want to eat. I don't care. We got to eat. I'll go find you some nachos. You love those. Asher forgot his prescription in my car. Rad, change of plans. We're stopping at Asher's and going to your place. A little while later... Ooh, Rod, thank you for... Ooh, slams the door in his face. Oh, he didn't. Okay, and that's where it ends. All right, guys. That is all that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. So we can get to more, a more loco. Guys, I think we're down to like the last seven or eight episodes. I know we're a bit to be done with this. Um, I might read the third one, which is about Raina. Um, but I also might wait a little while because I think it's only like four episodes of that one. So I might wait until she's made like six or seven just to, you know, have something to read for a little bit. But we can talk about that when we get close to the story being over. But other than that, guys, I hope that you guys have thoroughly enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Our little secret. Our